Hi, I am Maeve Pridel. Want to introduce you to Spice of Life, a new show. This show is all about good organic gardening practices, good food, and sharing that with your friends. Let's check out our garden. Hi everyone, I'm so excited today to introduce Ed Albright from Yard to Kitchen, Edible Garden collaborator. He's going to talk all about the special garden we have at our home and our collaboration and what we're going to do for the community and friends. Here you go, Ed. Thanks, May. Hi, I'm Ed Albright, as May has said, and I'm the owner of Yard to Kitchen. It's a company that designs, builds, and plants as well as maintains raised bed organic vegetable gardens for people's backyards. About a year ago, May contacted our company and wanted to collaborate on a project where we put a garden in her backyard, such as you see here, and uh, use that as kind of a showcase to generate potential other business uh, of people in Summit that may want an organic backyard garden. So this is an example of the garden that we put in one of the challenges that we faced here was a little bit too much shade. We generally like to get eight hours of full sunshine in order to make sure that we get great growth with the veggies. So with a vegetable garden with this amount of sun, we really use it as a green garden. A green garden from the point of view of using vegetables that can get by with low sunlight, but are as nutritious and delicious as any other vegetables that you can imagine. So examples here are Swiss chard, kale, collards, beets, lettuces, and some special Indian varieties that May brought with the red spinach and the bitter melon. The second garden that we had that we just put in this year is a garden that we're gonna to go to next that has more sunshine and it grows the more traditional summer vegetables uh, that you would see in a garden with that amount of sunlight. You know, May, your idea of putting a summer garden in this spot here mm -hmm. compared to your shady garden for your greens was a great idea. Yes. We were able to put this together in two weeks and you can see it has the same great features that the shady garden has with the exception of having eight hours plus of sunlight. So you can grow your tomatoes, your eggplant and your peppers um, in, a, in a spot like this along with your herbs. So uh, there's a couple of features here that enable this to occur. One is our irrigation system that um, drip irrigates the, 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 the produce um, with the heat that's required and we do it twice a day. The deep bed garden also and the mulch keeps the garden soil very even. So mm -hmm. things are growing spectacularly well. I understand you're having a luncheon today. So we're going to be able to pick some of the things from the garden for your recipes, including the herbs and peppers. Here it comes, here our friends are here today. Come on oh, over. Very excited. Oh, so good to have lunch with you all. all. Cooking oh, together. So nice to Hi, I'm Ed. Very Ed nice to meet you. Hi, Amy. Nice to see you. Hi, Lisa. Nice to meet you too. Welcome. Yeah, thank, thank you so much for so having excited. us. We we're going to have a lot of fun today. We can't wait to cook in the kitchen. We've got so much to Exciting, learn. exciting. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And right. a great day for it. Yeah. Let's go. We're going to show you three great recipes, especially from my book, which was just recently published. Uh, it's called the Indian Cuisine Diabetes Cookbook. So we have in this hot summer day, which is perfect for this weather, we have a avocado cucumber soup, which has a hint of fennel in that. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And uh, that's Lisa, you're going to do that. And oh, then I can't wait. Amy, for you, yes. we have a great appetizer, which is a street food of India, which is little puris, puffed puris, filled with purple potatoes and Yum. dotted with a little mint chutney. Mm. It's perfect for the summer day and you refresh. It's, everything is simple, mixed together with great herbs from the garden. So you will see that. And the third one, we're going to show you a grilling inside the house with, with, with very simple flavors. 
saffron, yogurt, mint, and things like that. Mm. So you're gonna see, it's gonna be a delicious meal enjoyed by my dear friends. I, my mouth is watering already. Let's yeah, get started. Wait, let's get started. Let's yeah. get started, Lisa. Mm. Okay, May, so what do we have here? We're gonna show you today yeah. this fabulous recipe for this hot summer day an avocado cucumber soup, Ooh. which has a hint of fennel in it. And I'm going to show you how to toast and grind and put, put them in there. And we have used this light product of coconut milk. And we have some fresh ingredients like the avocado and cucumbers and fresh cilantro from our garden. Mm. And Lisa, this is a very simple soup which anybody can make. Okay. And my favorite gadget. Yes, this is my favorite tool in the kitchen, my Mine Vitamix. Too. Mine so, too. And you're speaking my language. I love cucumbers, I love avocado, cilantro, so, and I'm on page 86 here. I wanna go through this, um, your recipe. So we are on page 86 of your cookbook, and this is an appetizer, but you can also eat it for dinner, right? Yes, a, sure. A chilled soup. So, so, so in the summer day is perfect. Um, okay, so what do we do here? Here, so the base of the soup is ginger garlic paste, mm -hmm. which we have the recipe in the book. It's equal quantity of ginger and garlic, pulsed yeah. together in a food processor again. So, and then we have all fresh ingredients like Perfect. cucumbers and avocado and you can have any seasonal vegetables if you would like but this is perfect for the summer and it's it's from this coast of Kerala where I am from um, it's the Malabar coast and it has a coconut milk and those are the specialities mm. in that region so Lisa yes um, can I start please to still Let's start your easy. favorite okay. gadget so all my mom friends want to know that they can make something easy and fun and quick and so I'm gonna show you right now I have half a cucumber I have half of an avocado yes. I can put the whole thing in right yeah sure I just be have some liberty at that and then I have fennel seeds. So I put the fennel seeds in. Fennel seed, I have already toasted for you. Oh, excellent. And then I'm gonna put a little bit, I think it was only a teaspoon, like a tiny, tiny pinch actually of garlic. And then I'm gonna put in, I should throw in this yogurt, right, May? Throw yes, the yogurt yes. in? Yes, you okay. have to the yogurt. Are you timing me how fast this is working? Yes. Yeah? I'm gonna, mm. I'm gonna do and some lime which is sure. excellent for vitamin C, right? All right, May, I'm not good in the kitchen. So yeah, what do I do here? Do I do this? Put it Can you show me? This way so that the seeds and the juice comes through. Excellent. You're making it so easy for a non-cook. That's all I have to tell and you. Make the kids do this for you. I know. Well, they'll love this, just like lemonade, right? Okay. And then for the people that like a little spice in your life, you yes. put a picked up pepper and a little cilantro. Can I throw the cilantro in? Sure, and then we can leave some for the garnish as well. Wonderful. And then I... we're gonna do, this is the toasted fennel, mm -hmm. which I already toasted in a cast iron skillet. Yep. And then this is the way you grind the spices and then just sprinkle with them. Can I smell them? It smells so different oh when it's gosh. toasted. It is so fresh. All right. And this so is it? it? That's it. That's and it. This, this is the flavor. All right. And then I'm gonna close this up. Now I can eat it just like this. I don't need to do anything else. No, the coconut milk, did you add? Oh, I forgot the coconut milk. I should look how much I'm putting in. Two teaspoons. I'm gonna put Excellent. a pinch of salt as well, yeah? All right. You know what I love about this? Mm -hmm. I'm not following the recipe to the, you know, right. to the letter, but I feel like I'm still gonna like it. Yes. Is it so all the flavors are there, it's all together. All right. Very simple. And here I go. And just start off. <laughs> Stop. You can see and open and see whether it's yeah. all done. Then you can just taste using a spoon. Oh, I get to taste it before it's cooked? Sure. Oh, we don't cook this, right? This is how it it's is. It's a cold cucumber soup. Here you go. All right. Oh, I can't wait. Mm. I'm ready for it now. It, it, I don't need it to be chilled. All right. Thank you so much. I want to try it as well. See whether all, all right. the seasonings always taste when you cook. Yeah, mo. All right, this is ready to go. Yes. On to the next one. I 
am so excited for May to teach me how to make golgapa, which is an appetizer. One of your favorite and a huge hit at parties. Yes, Amy, this is one of my favorite uh, appetizer whenever I have a cocktail event. This is a street food in India. When you walk in the streets of Bombay and Delhi and all that, you have these mini puris and they fill it with different things and then you just pop into your mouth. So we're going to show you some simple techniques of how to do that. No cooking, no uh, fussing, but we just mix some fabulous colorful potatoes and mix it with herbs from the garden. And then we're going to show you how, I'm going to show you Amy how to eat this as well. Sounds great. So let's do let's this. Let's do it. So we have, what do we have here? Some, so we have um, red onions. Red onions uh, minced fine. Minced fine, yes, and parsley. Have, it's a cilantro from cilantro, the garden. Cilantro, and then I see and some, some green chilies, a little green bit chilies, of green chilies. That's what I thought, just pour it Put everything in. together. Okay. It's very simple. And then we have our gorgeous, and then gorgeous two colors. Potatoes. I love colors in cooking, so we mix two colors. You can even do sweet potatoes in them. So Kids just mix. Would love these bright and then purple just potatoes. Mix everything together, Definitely. and then we need a squeeze of lime as well in this. Squeeze we need a lime. squeeze of lime. Where can I find a squeeze of lime? We're gonna get some lime and okay. We're gonna Perfect. get. There we go. I got one. Thank right you. Here. And right, squeeze it in, Amy, Amy. No seeds. Seeds stay out of our... <laughs> seeds, we took it out. <laughs> so just mix it up. Mix it up like this. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to eat this. It's very simple and just simple. It smells delicious. And then oh just take gosh. a puri, which is a whole wheat a puff, okay. puffed puris. Yes. And you just break it like this. Oh. That's a technique of I'm breaking as lost. well. And, okay. then, and then just fill it in with this little spoon, fill it up, Okay. how colorful is that and just put a dot of the mint chutney and you like just pop it present, May. and you just pop in your mouth, you can't eat halfway, it's going to break. Okay, May, before, um, remind me please, what are the ingredients in here? We had yogurt mm -hmm. and Lemon. Lemon and mint. And mint, and yes. And chilies. Here I go. Just pop it all mm -hmm. in your mouth. Pop it in the mouth. Gravy. The burst of flavors. Amy, you're going to experience. Mm. Mm. Tell me how it is. Delicious. <laughs> so good. Mm. I'm so happy, Amy. This can be paired with some great wines or cocktail. It worked every time I've made, and this is one of the favorites of my guests. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. delicious, light, mm -hmm. fresh, easy, easy to make with the family. Yes, it's a Perfect fun. Perfect for summer. Yes, sit outside in the porch and have this. Who will not like this? It's like a little present, like I said, an explosion Lovely. of flavors. Lovely, that's the whole concept of our cooking. Very simple, easy, doesn't have to be complicated. You can enjoy and yeah, and pair it with some good wine or cocktail. Fabulous, Amy. You can't stop eating this. I can't <laughs> stop. <laughs> All right, what's next? Okay, we'll go to the next one. Our grilling, grilling inside the house in a summer day. You don't have to go in the heat. Hi, I'm going to show you the third recipe in, uh, in for the for the lunch um, we are doing for our friends. It's called the murg malai kebab. Murg means chicken in Indian uh, language, and malai means it's cream. But I I have a lighter version of it by using lighter yogurts and sour cream, etc. In this, uh, we are featuring a, a very fragrant spice called the saffron. Um, and India has one of the best qualities of saffron. So we have a very light, uh, because of the heat, you know, we chose this light recipe where we have um, yogurt, ginger garlic, lemon, and saffron. So all these great flavors blended together. And uh, we have used white pepper in this. So instead of the dark pepper, because it's all white in color, so we have. Uh, used white pepper. So basically you marinate it six to seven hours and then um, then you can just use a grill inside or outside and just grill it. 
and you can serve it with a naan, a naan or pita bread or with rice. We're going to show you a little flavorful rice as well. So it's very simple. You can just skewer them. Soak the skewers before because otherwise it'll burn. And these are the skewers. We put alternate uh, peppers and onions and uh, you can put any vegetable of your choice. And then just you put them in skewers and grill them and you just turn once in a way. And, and actually I brushed them with a little ghee or a little um, cooking oil which is high uh, heat oil. I prefer sunflower oil in my book if you look at. And uh, so grill it for a few minutes till it is uh, brown like this. And it's ready to eat with a flavorful rice which I made. Um, it's uh, just a simple pilau seasoned with spices again. Uh, cardamom, uh, cinnamon and uh, cumin and things like that. And it's also in the book. And we have some, whatever vegetables you have, I've used frozen organic vegetables. And with a squeeze of lemon. And then you can serve it with, with these kebabs. Or you can eat it in your simple naan. We just grilled and with a little chutney on top. And it's a perfect lunch for our friends today. Hope everyone enjoys this uh, meal and refreshing for your palate. For our dessert, which is the most fun part, I think, and the summertime, I've chosen a seasonal uh, fruits, whatever you would like. Here we have chosen mangoes and pineapple. So. The pan you use is very important. This is a not a non-stick, it's a metal uh, which is like cast iron. And just brush it with a little ghee and, you, and grill until you get these grill marks. And, then, and towards the end you sprinkle with uh, the garam masala which is one of our size spice blends. And then serve it with your favorite ice cream. It's a fabulous uh, dessert, light and healthy. You can add some pineapple as well. So you can do any seasonal fruit. This is how we're going to serve the dessert, which is just grilled seasonal veg fruits, uh, mangoes, pineapple, peaches, whatever you would like. Just a couple of slices, slices of that and then you scoop your favorite ice cream. Scoop it out. A scoop of the ice cream and a sprinkle of the garam masala. There you go. And this is your fabulous grilled food dessert. Garam masala grilled uh, pineapple and mangoes. Oh my oh, gosh. We have the grilled malai kebab. Wow. And just with a hint of saffron, we oh. grilled it inside in this hot summer day. I didn't want to grill outside. In, outside. Mm. So we have it for you with some peppers from the garden. Mm. And, love the presentation. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It looks beautiful. Gorgeous. I love the color. Yes. yes. Hope you enjoy the Spice of Life show. And let's enjoy and taste each every each and every bit and taste the spices. Mm. Mm. Wait, and I'd like to make a toast to May. Right? To May. To May. To May. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, for having Thank you us. ladies for coming and enjoying this fun food with me. Thank you for sharing with us. Thank yes. you for teaching us easy meals. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Mm. So May, how did you start your business? Oh yes, it is a fun story. Um, I um, came about 25 years ago to this country as a knowledge engineer and I started working in financial services a very busy mom mm. didn't understand that you know thing is the way of life here and started buying processed food and uh, things like that and when I had my child we found out he had a lot of immune system disorders and asthma to antibiotics every day and then I stopped and thought about it what's wrong you know I never was sick I never took vitamins but we ate so healthy. So my parents were 
like really uh, saying that you have to quit your job and focus on your child. And that's what I did. I quit my fabulous job, really high powered job and quit. And um, I launched uh, Passion for Spices. What happened is I started experimenting the way I lived in India, a sustainable way of life everything non-processed but I tested in, a, in, in our Western kitchen with gadgets and I found out the more and more I did it I became an expert uh, in that and then I'm curious about uh, and about cuisine various cuisine I went to every chef possible all around the world I learned about all kinds of cuisines and I became a master in different cuisines um, so but now we have a team of chefs um, which we teach classes and we are all about showcasing good life and good food it's not about a diet but using wholesome ingredients grow your own um, and having a good life with friends that's all about our business uh, policies I think even though I wrote the cookbook which is uh, diabetic but it's all about um, showcasing good food in that book flavors instead of using fat see if you look at these recipes what we are eating very little fat but the layers and layers of flavors the techniques we have used the marinations we have used simple it's not spicy don't get into that myth of curry or uh, spicy Indian food is spicy but it's not all about that we have about 250 spices we export from India and my family we were spice traders from Persia so we own thousands of acres of various kinds of spices and so I grew up with the scent of spices so I wanted to share that knowledge and wisdom which is from my family and shared it with my friends um, so it's a beautiful thing so we can have a joyful life enjoying good food and good life so that's what I want people to um, learn so it doesn't have to be tedious it doesn't have to be um, uncomfortable right. uh, cooking doesn't have to be like that it's joy of life it's it brings art. people together Pr right? see, communities friends, together see yeah. I love entertaining yeah. I love having family and friends Indian in the book I have showcased about hospitality Indian hospitality Aditi Devo Bhava that's the first sentence I wrote I wanted something special about Indian hospitality I wanted to show it to the world so um, that means guest is like God when you when you have a guest in your home you want to treat them like God mm. that is the Indian principle of hospitality we very much are into family friends and cooking together and food is the center of our life so that's what we have done today wow. hope you have enjoyed it mm. Mm. Can't wait. And I'd like to make a toast to May right? to, May. to May. May thank you May. thank, thank, thank you for having us for coming and enjoying this fun food with me Thank you for sharing with us. Thank yes. you for teaching us easy meals.